Ah, I wanted it to land during Blue Peter. Wouldn't that have been exciting, eh? I have to have a word with the astronauts. That, eh? Th the, the Hamlet speech in less than 32 seconds, eh? Right, right. I've been practicing during Blue Peter. I got it down to about 40 seconds. I've got it all here. It's all here. The whole, the whole of the to be or not to be speech. The trouble is, see, the team aren't terribly keen on me doing it live, you see. I may have to go down... We may have to go down to Earl's Court and do it down there at the radio show. <coughs> here we go. <gasps> to be honest, to be that is question whether it's not in the minds of the things that are ready for to take arms against the rules of my posting and them. To die, sleep, no one, by sleep, I don't know. maybe it's not as easy as it looks. I shall go away and practice some more. Jonathan Lucia Wright, who lives in Erith, which is in Kent, has sent a picture to me. And it's on the wall at the moment. It's over there. It's that terribly flattering caricature of me on the back wall. Can you see that? A picture of me when I had hair, he says. Yes, very good. Please show it to me and say hi to you. Well, hello, Jonathan, and thank you for sending that in. That's very good of you. And I also have to say hello to somebody else. <laughs> Two Children's BBC, London W12AQT, which is our address, by the way, if you want to send us anything. People often say, how do we send it to you? If you address it to Children's BBC, BBC Television, London W12AQT, it'll find us. And Sophie Russell, who is eight, did just that. And she said, Dear Andy, I've sent you a big picture of my grape called Graham. Graham the grape. Please, can you hang him up in the broom cupboard? Well, with pleasure. There he is. That's Graham the grape. I thought that was particularly nice because I've got a brother called Graham. So we'll stick him on the wall somewhere. Shall we find... We've got a pin over here somewhere. Hang on. Put him under Bobby the Super Banana. Oh, I can't get the pin out. Ah, there we are. Right, and if you want to send us some stuff to decorate our broom cupboard, you are more than welcome. Very briefly, John Jason Murphitt, who lives in Kent, has also sent me a wild hairy haggis, which was born and bred in Scotland, so he can live in the broom cupboard as well. If you're watching in Northern Ireland, it is time to say goodbye to you now, I'm afraid, but we'll see you tomorrow at 10 to 4. Ta-ta! And for those of us that remain... Where is it? Ah, yes. In keeping with our Shakespearean theme, we've got our scroll here for tomorrow's menu. <clears throat> Prithee, prithee, hear it known that at ten to four tomorrow doth begin PC Pinkerton, which will be followed at four by one Fireman Sam. At four ten, ye Ratman, followed by ye Beat the Teacher at four twenty, Chegwin checketh out at four thirty-five, News Round at five, and at ten past five, Grangeth Hilleth. See you tomorrow. Au revoir. There's an hour of comedy this Monday night at eight o'clock. Timothy's sorry for the family cat. I'm afraid she's done it again. Not spent a penny in the air and cupboard. <laughs> Not a penny, more like eightpence. <laughs> At eight thirty, no frills for Kate's new boyfriend. You've got to be decisive, Gareth. Uh, it's Garth. I think you'll find I'm right. <laughs> a double helping of comedy for Monday evening here on BBC One. Now on BBC One, no frills, just plain and simple neighbours. <laughs>